Hey guys, welcome to this rocket video tutorial. This is a basic introduction to Blueprint. It seems to be one of those areas where a few people are getting confused and the introductory tutorials don't cover a whole lot substantial. I'm planning this to be a video tutorial series, um, so we'll go through some of the various features of Blueprint in the process creating uh, a few few different uh, Blueprints for various, various things. So in this example, uh, just as a basic blueprint introduction, I'm going to create a really simple explosive barrel. It's going to be a barrel that when you shoot it, it will uh, explode and then destroy itself. So I've got the greatest barrel ever mesh here. I've already got some particle effects. Um, there are other meshes that you can use in shooter game or any other game that you choose. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to right click and just create a new basic blueprint. I'm going to base this off actor. I'm going to call it explosive barrel. Now Blueprint's fairly straightforward. We have three main tabs up the top. Number one uh, is the Defaults tab, and the Defaults tab is where you set all the default properties of the Blueprint. This is the equivalent of, say, the properties of an actor when you place it into a map. Second one is the Components tab, and the Components tab is where we add various components to this Blueprint. Components are things such as uh, static mesh components, skeletal mesh components, particle system components, and also many others. You can see they're all available from the drop down here. Uh, essentially these components can be exposed into the Blueprint Graph Editor and you can perform different bits of functionality uh, with each component. And the last one is the Graph Editor itself and the Graph Editor is where all the magic in Blueprint really takes place. You add events, in, uh, you add events into the graph, you can catch those events and perform all sorts of functionality. There are two different types in the graph. We've got the Event Graph which runs in real time and the construction script, which gets run when this actor gets constructed. So for instance, dragged from the content browser, placed into the map. The construction construction script is something that you'd use for things like um, procedural generation or even modifying components uh, at construction time rather than at runtime. So I'm going to start off with the components editor and just add a static mesh component here. Click on the add component button and you can see that my uh, root component here is this static mesh component, which right now doesn't actually have anything assigned to it. So I'm just going to choose the greatest barrel ever, and this is now the static mesh that's actually applied uh, that's, that's inside this blueprint. Most important thing with blueprints is that every time you make a change, you do need to compile the blueprint. This compile button on the top left here. The very first time you compile, blueprint will warn you that you it resets all the current undo data. Um, I generally turn that off because it actually gets a bit annoying when you're uh, always compiling blueprints. Click the compile button and if there's no errors then you'll get a green tick up the top here. If there are any errors in your blueprint uh, you'll get a, a red a red cross here that, that indicates you have some problems with your blueprint that you need to fix. Now I'm going to jump, jump back over to the graph editor and start off with something really simple in the event graph here which is an event called receive damage. Uh, receive any damage. Now this is an event that automatically gets uh, executed whenever the uh, this blueprint actually receives any damage. So the really quick logic here is that we have a barrel that's going to have a set amount of health. Every time we receive damage you want to subtract that damage from the health. When the health reaches zero we're going to go ahead and explode. So the next thing we've got to do is actually add a variable which is going to be the amount of health that this barrel has. On the right hand, uh, left hand side here we're going to click on variable and it's going to add a new variable that we're going to call health. And we're going to set health to a float, which is simply a decimal number. Now the other two properties we want to set here is we want to set this to be editable. And every time you have a, a variable in Blueprint that's editable, you should always give it a tooltip. So anyone editing this variable knows what it actually does. And close the amount of health the barrel has. Um, when I compile that again, if I go over to the defaults tab here, then you can see that I have a default variable here called health, which is the one I just added. I'm going to set this to 20. So now every instance of this blueprint that I add is going to have 20 health. But because this variable is also uh, editable, it means that whenever someone drops this into the map, they can also edit the amount of health on that instance as well. So they might want to have some barrels with more health or some barrels with less health. So the editable not only gives us the property in the default mode, but it also allows us to edit that property on any instance of the blueprint that we create. So the next step is we actually want to set the value of this health once we take damage. So we click and drag the health variable in, 
we're going to click on Set. This is very similar to our Kismet in Unreal 3, where we simply drag these connectors, uh, and the actions actually execute sequentially. Now the value that we want to set this to is going to be our health, which we're going to get. And the other important thing with Blueprint is every time you drag off one of these connectors, you get context-sensitive actions that can be performed with that node. So in this case, we want to subtract... I'm just going to type minus in there. And I'm going to hook that up to damage. So the result of this is going to be health minus the amount of damage that we take. And we're going to plug that in here and set our health variable back to that value. Compile that again. Let me see, it's a green tick again, so everything's all going well. <coughs> now the next thing we want to check is if the health of this barrel is actually below zero, then we want to explode and destroy the barrel. So we can drag off the set here and do what we call a branch. Now a branch is a simple conditional statement. We have to match a Boolean condition. If it's true, we do one thing. If it's false, we do another. And the Boolean condition we want to match is simply if health is less than or equal to zero. And if health is less than or equal to zero, then that's when we want to explode. So we want to spawn an emitter, spawn an emitter at location, and when we add the spawn emitter at location function, we get uh, various properties that we need to set. I'm going to choose the explosion emitter template that I've got around. And the location we want to spawn it is simply the location of this actor. So we can use get actor location. We don't need a rotation for this. And the last thing we want to do after that is actually destroy this. Destroy the actor so the barrel will disappear. Click Compile. All is good. Let's jump in and actually have a look at this Blueprint in action. I've got the Blueprint selected. I'm in Sanctuary, and I'm just going to drop the explosive barrel here. There's my explosive barrel. And when I click Play from here... Here's my barrel. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. And you can see that once it's taken some damage, it explodes and disappears, just like we expected it to. If we click on the barrel then you can see over here on the right hand side in the details pane that we can increase or decrease the amount of health that it has. If I set it to 100 and go ahead, jump back in, we're going to do significantly more damage for that to actually blow up. It's taken many more shots for that to actually blow up this time. So that's a really simple blueprint setup. Um, this is meant to be a, a short sharp tutorial explaining to you guys some of the basics of blueprint. Um, the goal is to continue expanding on this, so to add some damage, um, make it into a physics asset that has, uh, you know, a fire attached to it, rolls around, explodes, all that sort of stuff. Hope you learned something. Thanks.